Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we'll be sharing some cold weather tips for growing peppers. Pepper plants really don't like cold temperatures. They also don't like very hot temperatures, so they're a bit temperamental. And as we enter into the fall here in New England, our pepper plants are definitely showing some signs of stress. So if you live in a temperate climate with winters, we're gonna share some tips to prolong your season and some other things you should be thinking about at this time of year. Okay, so let's get right into the cool weather tips. Number one is to be checking the weather. This is like mistake number one. As you enter into the fall months, it's really easy to not notice that the overnight temperatures might be dipping down below where they should be, at least for pepper plants. If the temperatures are gonna be below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, that's usually when you might wanna take some action or at least start thinking about harvesting some of your peppers or protecting them from those cold temperatures. So for us in New England, this usually happens around late September or early October. We really start to pay attention to those overnight temperatures, especially just because you really might not notice it unless you check because you're indoors. So once you know you have one of those cold nights coming up, what are some of the things you can do? Well, number one is you can cover your plants. We use this floating row cover to cover up various plants in our garden, and it's a really effective tool to sort of insulate the plants from those cold temperatures, at least for a night or two, and it can really help extend your season. Now floating row cover is really essential if you have an in-ground bed or a raised bed where the plants can't be moved. But if you have potted plants like this one, it's very easy to just move it indoors into a garage or even closer to your house where the temperature stays just a little bit warmer can make a difference. So just move the plants indoors overnight, get them back outside once the temperatures warm up and your plants will thank you for it. If you fail to do this and your plant experiences freezing temperatures or even near freezing temperatures, it can really harm the plant and cause permanent damage. So you really wanna get ahead of it. And in that transition period between fall and winter, when you really get those random nights where it dips down and then it gets warm again, it can really extend the season by several weeks. The next tip is sort of a cluster of tips revolving around the same topic. And it's a very common question that we get around this time of year. And that is how do I get unripe peppers to ripen on the plants. So the plant I have here is a Kentisho and you can see it has both ripe and unripe peppers on it. And the green peppers on the plant just don't seem to have enough time left in the season to ripen. So one thing of course you can do is to do what we just talked about and that is cover the plants, keep them protected from the cold temperatures and extend the season for the plants. That will give it more time to produce ripe peppers. But there are many things you can do in addition to this. And the first thing is to pick peppers as they ripen on the plant. One thing that we haven't been doing for this plant, we've sort of just picked them as we've needed them. But at this time of year, it really makes sense to take off all of the ripe peppers and allow the plant to focus energy on ripening what's left. Another thing you can try if you're within just a few weeks of your first frost and you know the plants really don't have much time left is you can prune away some of the excess foliage that doesn't have peppers on it or have peppers that aren't even close to being fully grown and you know they don't stand a chance to reach full ripeness. You can just prune away that excess foliage so that the plant, again, has more energy focus where it's needed. So as you can see here on this banana pepper plant, there is this branch that has a few young banana peppers that aren't going to make it to full maturity. So I can just prune away this branch. That's gonna take energy away from it and redirect it to where it's important, to the remaining pods, which I want to ripen. Now this doesn't always feel good, but if you know that the plant is headed for the compost bin soon anyway, or that freezing temperatures are going to take it away from you in the end, it makes more sense to get those ripe peppers by pruning away. Another tip on this topic that you can't really apply now in the fall time, but you can apply earlier in the season, is to not top your plants. We have a very popular video all about topping or pruning pepper plants early on in their life where you basically snip off the main central stem of the plant to encourage a bushier, fuller growth. And I think this is something everyone wants to do. They wanna sort of be active when they grow their plants, Honestly, we don't really top our plants. This plant wasn't topped. I don't think we topped any of our peppers that we grew this year. It's just not something that we find necessary, especially when we have a shorter growing season. And the tip is to basically not prune. If you pruned your pepper plants this year and you find that you didn't get very many ripe pods, well, it may be because you set it back a couple of weeks when you did that early in the season. And another similar tip is to plant your pepper seeds at the right time. We talk about this way too much, I think, but it's so important it depends so much on where you live. So if you live in a very cold climate, you may actually have to plant your seeds earlier to extend the season on the front end uh, so that when the cold temperatures arrive, your plants are already finished producing. 
Another cold weather tip is to mulch your plants thickly if you didn't already. We recommend having your plants mulched all season long. It just provides so many benefits from the moisture retention to insulating the roots from cold or hot temperatures. And in this case, it's gonna keep the roots warmer uh, and less susceptible to varying temperatures during the colder months. So have a nice thick layer of mulch down, whether it's straw or leaves from the yard this time of year are really great mulch. We're gonna be rounding up all of our leaves, chopping them up and letting them ferment in the backyard for a few months and using that as our mulch for our beds next year. And finally, we just wanted to talk about when to consider overwintering. A lot of people seem interested in overwintering their pepper plants. They just don't wanna see them go. And basically we start to think about doing it just a couple of weeks before we expect our first frost. So for us, that's mid-October. So you really don't have to get too far ahead of it. I think a lot of people cut their plants back early just because they start to worry about the colder temperatures or they see leaves dropping off, but you can really wait right up until the plant has started to drop a lot of leaves, but most importantly, before it experiences an actual frost overnight. And one last thing I wanted to cover is having a plan for the peppers that you're harvesting. I see it so often that people grow so many plants and they don't really have a plan for what to do with all of their peppers. And we get that question a lot. What do you do with all of your harvests? I have all of these ghost peppers and I don't know what to do with them. So I'm gonna leave a few links down in the description to articles that we've written about different ways to preserve your peppers and use them in the kitchen and prevent them from spoiling. So those are our cold weather tips for growing peppers. If you have any additional tips that you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments. We love seeing how other people garden and learning from you as well. Thanks for watching Pepper Geek and we'll see you next time.